The UN's atomic watchdog says it's ready to inspect Iran's alleged nuclear sites if it's given permission. The IAEA's representatives have arrived in Tehran to renew talks which have been at a standstill since August. Inspectors hope to gain access to the Parchin military base near the capital. They claim the facility may have been used to develop nuclear weapons and cleaned up afterwards, an accusation yet to be backed by evidence. However, as Maria Fanoshina now reports, the burden of proof is now weighing even heavier on Iran. Three decades of pride, followed by three years of mourning. When Mansouri met her future husband, a young physicist, she immediately knew he'd come a long way. Indeed, he went on to become one of Iran's leading nuclear scientists, until it all ended one sunny morning in January 2010. He left to work, and then I heard a terrible explosion. I rushed to see what happened. He was lying like this. I called Mas'ud, Mas'ud, Mas'ud Jan. I thought he was just scared. Then I turned to him. There was no face, just blood and tissues. He was the first victim in a gruesome trend associated with his work. Since 2010, at least three other nuclear scientists have been murdered in Iran. They were working hard, so their country didn't need to back other nations for know-how. We have the right to acquire this knowledge and feel independent. When Mansouri's husband began embarking on his nuclear career, it was not a life-threatening occupation. In the 70s, Western countries were eager to help Iran develop its own nuclear program, supplying it with technology with no strings attached. That changed when the Iranian regime did. What was earlier seen as an alienable right Iran became its biggest liability. Would be emboldened in its pursuit of nuclear weapons. Billions of dollars have been pumped into the industry before the revolution, at the time of the Shah. Why should they give up now, just because Western powers say so? While Iran's nuclear program is now a target of Western political discourse, there is only suspicion and no internationally recognized evidence that a country is moving towards building an atomic weapon. Iranian officials believe all this tension is fabricated with the sole purpose to demonize them in the eyes of international community. If you have knife in your kitchen and some of the Western countries come to your home and said that oh knife is very dangerous maybe you want to use it to kill some people this is very uh, joking idea the perceived fear is that the iranian regime can't be trusted with a nuclear capacity but even those who want a total change of leadership say it should be non-negotiable for the country the nuclear issue has become like uh, Iranian national uh, football team. For many Iranians, uh, it has become uh, a kind of a struggle between Iran. Iranians uh, want to achieve something for themselves and the West, which is preventing them. The blast that killed Mansouri's husband was so strong that the clock in their living room stopped at the time of his death. Both the West and Iran are equally failing to move forward. Iran has long insisted on its right to develop a peaceful nuclear program, but suspicion in the West has led to more and more severe sanctions. The more Iran resists, the more the pressure builds, and both sides show little sign of giving up. And while the West sees only dangerous intentions, people here in Iran believe it's all down to pride and prejudice. Marie Fanoshina, RT from Tehran.